Hello everyone, this is RJ. I want to welcome you joining me in prayer and also reading through the scripture. As we're going through uh, the topical Bible study reading schedule and going through patience, I wanted to uh, encourage you once more to really take heart of what the verse says and see if you can even memorize it. Today, the verse comes from Psalm 27, verse 14, and a perfect verse to memorize. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. And sometimes what we can do with these uh, Bible verses that are short like this, we can use it as uh, a way to pray. Uh, your prayers can be a lot of requests and all the things that you want to tell tell God, but at the same time, prayer can be reciting the Bible verses. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart. Wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Sometimes these prayers becomes a stronghold in our lives. I recall how my wife, uh, when she was uh, going through her master's work and it, a lot of the anxieties, what she started to do, she started put, putting a small and short Bible verses and posted and she started plastering it around wherever she went. The Lord is my shepherd and I will not be in need. Uh, I can do anything in Christ. Those were the words that she written and she just posted around. And I believe that that became a prayer for her. Every time she might have came to a point where she didn't know whether or not she can do this. And she might have recited that prayer. And at the same time, as we are patiently waiting for God to work in our, in our lives, maybe reciting this verse, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord, will remind us to wait and see how God will work in this time. And our call is to wait. But as we are waiting, what God also asks us to do is to be strong and take heart. Now, take heart, that might, uh, I don't know how you receive this, but if I go through other translations, it actually uh, has a original meaning of being courageous. Why? Because when we're taking heart of God, who is the source of all courage and all strength, we therefore will become courageous. So wait for the Lord, be strong and, and courageous and wait for the Lord. We are to be strong and courageous as we wait for God to work in our lives in any difficulty that we might face. And especially in this time, as we are facing this unprecedented and unprecedented uh, event of COVID, uh, this in, invisible enemy that we have, but also the other invisible enemies of device, other invisible enemy of uh, that breaks our unity. We really have to wait and be strong and courageous to see while, while, while waiting to see what God is doing in our lives. So join me in this time as we pray. Let us pray together. Lord, we come to you knowing that you are the source of all things and all hope and all strength. And we wait for you. We wait and we ask that we will be strong and courageous as we wait for you. We wait for you, Lord, as we be strong and courageous and we wait for you. We wait for you, Lord, as we ask you to give us the strength and courage to continue to wait for you. We wait for you, Lord. Help us to be strong and courageous as we wait for you. Let us have a time to pray and ask for God's strength and courage as we wait. Let us pray together.
continue to wait, let us also wait. As we continue to wait, let us also wait and pray and intercede for all those who are suffering because of this virus. Pray for those who are battling the virus right now. Pray for those who lost loved ones. And especially remember the 100,000 families who had lost their loved ones. And also pray for those who are going through economical difficulties. Pray for those who are struggling emotionally. Let us have a time to pray and wait for our Lord. Let us pray together. And as we continue to pray, let us pray for our leaders, our healthcare workers, essential workers, everyone who is lending their hand to fight against this virus. And also let us pray for the unity of this nation. Let us pray and mourn for the brokenness in this nation. Let us pray together. Hanani. And now join me in the prayer that our bishop had asked us to pray every day. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessings, past, present, and future. You are a rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. As Jehovah Jireh, our provider God, we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever. This virus called COVID-19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, would place your hand upon all of those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones in our grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with your peace that surpasses all understanding and strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Annual Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith, hope, and trust. In you, in the days ahead and forever, we offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for joining me once more. I want to 
thank you and ask you to continue to pray and also re recite the word that comes from our Lord. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Have a great one. I pray that I'll be able to see you tomorrow. If you have any prayer requests, please let me know comment, uh, by commenting below or sending me an email at pastor at rcmc.org and we'll pray with you together. We thank you and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.